Now, in recent decades, China has transformed itself into the world's most dominating seafood superpower. But from bait to plate, this maritime expansion has come at a pretty grave cost. China's preeminence on the high seas is now pushing the profession of fishing to be one of the most deadliest jobs in the world. And our next poll gets more details. Americans know little about how their seafood is sourced. Much of it comes from a vast fleet of Chinese ships, but on board, human right abuses are rampant. Fueled by the world's growing and insatiable appetite for seafood, China has dramatically expanded its reach across the high seas. With as many as 6,500 ships, China now accounts for more than double the ships in comparison of its closest global competitor, Taiwan. With over 95 foreign ports, China's preeminence at sea has come at a cost. The country is largely unresponsive to international laws. According to Outlaw Ocean Report, China's fleet are responsible for most of the illegal fishing in the world. Many experts say that such uncontrolled fishing is also driving many fish species to the brink of extinction. Its ships are also rife with labor trafficking, debt bondage, violence, criminal neglect and death. The human rights abuses on these ships are happening on an industrial and global scale. Steve Trent, the CEO of the Environmental Justice Foundation, has said. When the Environmental Justice Foundation interviewed 116 Indonesian crew members, it was found about 97% of them experienced debt bondage or confiscation of guaranteed money and documents, and over 58% reported having seen or experienced physical violence. Compared with other countries, China has not only been less responsive to international regulations, but also less transparent about its fishing boats and processing factories. Since a large proportion of fish consumed in the U.S. is caught or processed by China, it is especially difficult for companies to know whether the products they sell are tainted by illegal fishing or human rights abuses. Squid fishing, or jigging in particular, has grown with American appetites. Until the early 70s, Americans consumed squid in tiny amounts, mostly at niche restaurants on the coast. But as overfishing depleted fish stocks, the federal government encouraged fishermen to shift their focus to squid, whose stocks were still robust. Since then, China has invested heavily in its fleet. The country now catches more than 5 billion pounds of seafood a year through distant water fishing. China's seafood industry, which is estimated to be worth $35 billion, accounts for a fifth of the international trade and has helped create 15 million jobs. The Chinese state owns much of the industry, including some 20% of squid ships, and oversees the rest through overseas fishery associations. Today, the nation consumes more than a third of the world's fish. According to the United Nations International Labour Organization, globally as many as 128,000 fishers face threats of violence, debt bondage, excessive overtime and other conditions indicative of forced labour. Bureau Report, Vyond World is One. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.